hi you guys and welcome back to another video on talks with tippy so i just got done ordering some doordash you guys want to see what i got i got some little caesar's pizza their deep dish pizza is so fucking good there's already some missing because <laughs> i ate a slice and not only that um i fed rivy and i got her situated with some peppa pig so yeah we're gonna be eating pizza and then i got some nice cold ice pepsi good witch i guess i'm going to be a good witch today so today i thought i would do a little mukbang slash story um storytelling with you guys so I'm going to talk about the paranormal experiences that I have gone through. I have been through more than a few. And so yeah, so me, I love spooky things. My favorite holiday is Halloween. Um, I have bats on my chest for crying out loud. Um, I love watching paranormal stories. I've always wanted to go on a paranormal investigation. Um, you know just things like that me i i'm like i identify as a mermaid during the day and at night i'm a vampire so i'm just a weird one but yeah so um you know i have gone to a few places where there has been paranormal investigations and in that were aired on tv like cable or whatever um zach off ghost adventures i believe um, they investigate him and his team investigated um, Enchanted Forest and it's like a it's kind of like an amusement park a little bit outside of um, Portland Oregon and me and my family went there the week after um, they investigated and aired it on TV so that made the experience just that much more intense um, what's another one madame tussauds um in la i have been there too and they've done an investigation on that uh, on on that place um i forgot which team what which paranormal investigating team it was but yeah been there and just like i said just knowing that that has happened and, and that there is um you know spiritual entities there just makes that um visit that much more intense but you know what let's go back to my um childhood when i experienced my first apparition and uh i just remember being outside in my backyard and i'm playing i'm just by myself just playing by myself in the backyard and next thing you know i see I see this girl like walking through a fence I didn't think anything of it I don't know what I thought in the moment I just remember like I didn't feel scared and so I just remember walking through the fence and I'm just looking at her and I'm like watching her just walk across my yard and I'm just like following her and then eventually I'm like hi and then she just like turns to look at me and then she just looks back and she proceeds to walk across my yard into my neighbor's yard into their driveway and out that way so on one side of my yard I had a wooden fence and on the other side of my yard there was a chain link fence and so you know I don't remember really dwelling on it I just remember who I had seen and it was a little odd to me and so yeah I just proceeded to play and I just didn't really think about it I don't even really think I told anybody about it but yeah so anyways fast forward like two weeks later and I know that just I'm in my kitchen washing dishes I'm washing dishes and in our kitchen or I was thinking there's this huge glass window I'm washing dishes and next thing you know I look outside and I see her again she's like right there and it's crazy because I have like I can see it in my head like exactly like what I saw like it's it's still very much there like clear as day and anyway she's like resting on my fence like this and she's looking at me like we're making eye contact and I just remember like turning to my mom like mom who is that girl and my mom's like, what girl? 
I'm like, that little girl right there. And the next thing you know, she was gone and I had never seen her again. Never. That was like the last time I saw her and I'm just like, but that has always stuck with me. Like, just like, till this day, I'm just like, I will always vividly re like remember that experience. Well, fast forward 10 years later, my mom moves back into the same block. But this time, she moves across the street from the house we used to live at. Well, my little brother is playing with his friends. And he's walking in from the back door into the living room. And he just sees, like, he just says, like, from his side vision that he's seen, like, like he's seen something. He's seen something sitting on the boogie boards that they had in the living room. And he's like, I didn't want to turn to look. But he's like, I ended up doing it. So he turns to look. And he sees a little girl sitting on the boogie boards. And her eyes were, like, pitch black. When I had seen it, I don't remember her eyes being pitch black. Like, I don't remember really being scared. And so anyways, he says it, it really scared him. He was really, really fucking scared. Like, he starts crying. And his friends are like, why are you crying? Because they didn't, they didn't see her. They couldn't see her. It was just him. And he was telling them about it, but they didn't really believe him. So anyways, fast forward two weeks later, he ends up seeing her at night. And she's, like, walking down the street. And then after that, he had never seen her again. And the funny thing about that is that I didn't know he saw her. Like, I didn't know about that. The only reason why I know he saw her was because my oldest daughter saw her, too. And so, one day we were visiting my mom. And you know what? Mind you, me and my husband would always go over there with our girls and stay the night and be with my siblings because my mom would work overnight. So, we were just watching them. And, you know, we had a little dog. Pomeranian Chihuahua dog named Roscoe. And you know what? He's the chillest dog, very calm, very quiet, very playful. And you know, he would always act up there. He was always barking, always freaking out, you know. And it would freak me out. It would creep me the fuck out. I'm like, why is he acting like that? And I remember one time, me and my husband are like chilling in the living room on the couch, and it was probably like midnight. And we hear like, coins like being like you know when you like flick them they're like mm. yeah like we've just heard like coins on the ground i don't know it's weird so anyways my daughter comes in and something was just not right i'm like jasmine what's wrong and she couldn't talk like she was shucking the fuck up i'm like jasmine what's wrong she's like i saw a girl she went through the fence and she went home I heard it the first time, but I had to have her, like, say it again. I had to have her repeat herself. I'm like, wait, what'd you say? So she said it again. I saw a girl. She went through her. She went through the fence, and she went home. Sorry, my battery is dying, so it paused out and stopped recording. So anyways, yeah, I had her repeat it again, and she said that. So I didn't really dwell on it. I just kind of left it as is. I'm like, it's okay, you're fine, just go play. She's like, I don't want to, I just want to stay in here. I was like, okay, that's fine, just stay in here with me, you're fine. So then I tell my husband about it. And then I tell my little sister, Keani, about it. And then she's like, no fucking way. I'm like, what? She's like, Cisco saw her too. So that's when I found out my little brother had seen her too. So I was like, well, go get Cisco. I want to talk to him really quick because he was across the street at his friend's house. So then my little brother comes running across the street. And he's like, yeah. I was like, Cisco, Jasmine just saw the little girl. The moment I said that, he just, just like, scared. Scared. He's like, no way. And so then that's, and then that's when I told him my experience and what I had seen out when I was a young girl. So that just validated that I did see what I saw. And I wasn't crazy. So, yeah. And then my dumbass was high as fuck one day and goes to my mom's house. I'm like, I'm going to see if I can communicate with her through my mind and see what's wrong with her and see why she's stuck here and why is she popping up on all these kids. Yeah, crazy moment. But yeah, so I have a few more hauntings. If you want to hear more about them, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let me know. Have a good day, guys.